tainted water. You guys, don't drink that water. <laughs> Good morning, evening, uh, thingy, <laughs> midnight, friends. <laughs> I got up really late, so I went to bed really early, and so I got up really early. That's how that went. Uh, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Do I hear banging on the door? I guess not. Maybe it was just me walking down the stairs. I'm super paranoid. So it's really, really early in the morning. This is probably going to be a really, really long episode because I'm going to push it to the limit unless I uh, find some, some time to sleep, which I just might because uh, I'm going to be emptying some stuff out of the fridge today. I want to uh, get some of this rotten stuff out and then put some rotten stuff <laughs> in. Uh, there's like a grocery store, which I'm sure has something that I, I would be able to use. Look at this, melted ice cream. We don't need to keep ice cream in the in the freezer. You could just let it melt, drink some ice cream soup. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna keep all of my my goodies. Oh, I got jarred peaches. Got some jarred peaches, got some wires. Yeah, I need to move this stuff. Here we go. Go over here. There's another box of MREs. We're, we're so good. We're so fucking set for life over here. The only way this is gonna end is if uh, I get bit by a zombie or something. And that ain't gonna happen either. I ain't gonna let it happen. So let's see what we got here. Rotten bell peppers, rotten bread, rotten broccoli. Gonna gonna do a little cleaning today. Uh, I could take the stale stuff out, like two hunger for ten boredom and ten unhappiness. That's, that's not too hot, you know what I mean? But uh, I won't just yet. That's fine. I'm gonna get this rotten Chinese takeout. God damn. Everything's just gone bad. This is so terrible. Eggplant. We'll, we'll have some stale eggplant in the morning. Eggplant in the morning. Getting bored. And well, we're cleaning the fridge. What could be more exciting than cleaning the fridge? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. I challenge you. I dare you. Aw, meat patties, milk. God damn, I wonder if we freeze the milk if it's gonna be any good. Can you freeze milk? Is it gonna separate? That's why they pasteurize it, isn't it? So it doesn't separate? And then if you freeze it, does it like have some sort of effect? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, it's a mystery to me. Shiitake mushrooms rotten, sour cream is rotten, steak, strawberries, god damn. All this stuff that I worked so hard to obtain. The fridge is still over halfway full, which I guess is a good thing. But uh, this is this is a lot of rotten things to clean out. My fridge is stinking like a motherfucker. Got this small animal meat. I chopped up a rat and he rotted in the fridge. <laughs> Everything's normal here, don't you worry. Oh, we're full now. I guess I'll put it out in the compost pile. We got a big pile of compost over here. Look at all this. God damn. And then I put a bunch of rotten things in my doctor bag. That's not good for keeping things sterile. No, sir. There we go. Just drop all this. Very nice. Eventually, I'm sure it's going to turn into mulch or something like that, right? Maybe? Probably not. That's fine. A little more cleaning. I think this is a, a productive use of my time. I had had some fun. We had some adventures, there's uh, fire alarms going off and dogs barking and ambulances and all kinds of shit. Welcome to the Philippines, is what I say. Uh, rotten little bait fish, damn. More rotten milk. It is gonna smell bad outside my house. It probably already smells really bad in the fridge, because I just let all this shit go. I let it go and go it did. Fucking A. Uh, here's radishes. I should probably move this soda as well. All these sliced apples. Oh, that's so sad. I probably, if things get bad enough, I could probably eat the rotten food. But, um, I don't think that's suggested. That's just like staying out in the rain. You'll get sick from the food instead of sick from, uh, sick from the, 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 the getting wet part. <laughs> you know what I mean. Grapefruit soda, we'll move that. There was a bunch of strawberries or some shit in there that I didn't grab. 
I'll come back for him. We got some more room in here? Come on. God damn. I'm just trying to keep everything nice. Can I, can I keep everything nice? Please? No. No, you can't. Here's some sodas. Where's that grapefruit juice? Grapefruit soda. It's not juice. It's not juice. Please don't consume it like it's juice. You will get no vitamins from it. It's just sugar and water, basically. And it's raining outside. That should help with the, the decomposition process of these here disgusting... <laughs> disgustingness. There we go. Make my pile a little bigger. Nice. That's real good. What is that? I think that's the apple slices. They're fucking gigantic. Looks like a pizza. <laughs> I'm making a pizza. What do you want me to put on it? Uh, wieners. <laughs> All right, I put wieners on the pizza. There we go. Shit ton of rotten strawberries. It's too bad I couldn't uh, learn to preserve them. Or at least, you know, grow them into something that would be useful. But oh well. Hindsight's 2020. That fridge is cleaned out, but it's also uh, a little underweight now. A little under half. So I guess that's okay. We'll get these broccoli seeds out of here. I was just sticking all kinds of shit in this fridge. I don't understand. How did cake go rotten? Cake? No! <sighs> rotten cherries, rotten chicken. Damn. Rotten corn. Corn dog? That shit does not go bad. Are you kidding me? There's another soda I can move. Fresh ginger. I'm surprised the ginger's still fresh. It has its own packaging. But everything has its own fucking packaging. Grapes have their own packaging, kind of. There's like, you know, a skin on it. A little bit of skin. That's normal, right? Mm, can't fit the milk. Put that mutton chop. Can't fit the oranges. How about the peaches? There you go. There you go. Shove that in there. Couple radishes. Dang out. Another full bag of rotten, disgusting trash. Ah, I'm so upset with myself. How could I let this happen? No. Oh, it's so mean. There we go. A little bit more in the pile. Uh oh. I don't want these strawberries to be uh, sitting out here like this. Give me more strawberries. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna move these. Gotta go put them somewheres. We do have a dumpster. Oh, duh. The dumpster would be a great place to put these things. Although it does take a hell of a long time to put it in the dumpster, so. No, never mind. I throw it on the floor. Everything's awesome. There you go. <sighs> We're saving time. Been emptying out my fridge for three hours already? God, no wonder I'm bored. And it's still raining just a little bit, but, you know, that's okay. Everything is fine. Um, mm, rotten orange, rotten milk, you can make a rotten smoothie, ooh, maybe it'll be good again if you, if you put it together in a, in a blender, I don't know why that would work, I don't know how that would work, look at all these radishes, god damn, I'm gonna be like so depressed if I eat a bunch of radishes, mmm, crudite, I wanna cry, <laughs> I remember when we used to have parties and now we can't have parties anymore because everybody's dead. Oh, are we are we full up on the ground? Can't drop any more stuff on the ground? Come on. I know you can do it. I know we can do it. Look at my pile of trash now. Well, that's uh that is what it is. If I find some more fresh food, uh, I could fit it in there. But I don't hold much hope for that. Yeah, there probably could be like uh, some cakes or something like that. That might be that might be good. I'm gonna take these vitamins since I woke up super early. Reduce my fatigue a little bit. I think I dropped a bunch of energy drinks up at the uh, fishing base as well. So maybe we could cruise over there and do that real quick. Flashlight and an orange soda. Oh, I do have a couple of sodas. Let's take these things inside. I don't know why I left them out here. Perhaps I, it was a, a sacrifice. A sacrifice to the house guardian. Hmm. Is this expert cooking master farming? 
God, I just... I'm not very good at keeping things organized. I think that's a big part of Project Zomboid, is not, <laughs> not losing track of all the shit that you have. I still have a rotten pork chop in my bag. Please leave me. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye! See you in hell! Um, where was I putting all that shit? It'll fit here. It'll fit here real nice. Let's put some broccoli seeds. Because I don't have enough to plant more. Uh, orange soda. Radish seeds. Flashlight, I guess. Why not? And then there's delicious cream soda. Oh, God. The, the godliest of sodas that there is. Wow. Do I love a fucking cream soda. Haven't seen any cream sodas in the Philippines. I haven't even seen, like, cream sodas at, like, a 7-Eleven recently. Even before I left the States. Oh my god, there's some thunder out there. Might get some rain. Rain means uh, a creepypasta. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> Boredom goes away as I smack this zombie to death. Wonderfully done. I should start collecting money. I should just have a big box full of money. And then eventually I can use it to start a fire because it's fucking useless. If vendors come to uh, Project Zomboid, then I'll be really depressed that I, uh, I didn't pick up that money. But oh well. It's good for now. Let's see what we got here. Some vitamins. I, I, I'm just a little bit overweight at the moment, so I'm going to try and pack some things away. I'm pushing... Pushing my limit already. I guess it's all this stuff that I have in this here bag. I got foraging and first aid for beginners. A couple books I need to read. Probably sh what I should do is read some books. But I don't know if I'll uh, fully absorb the material since I'm so depressed. Man, I, I... For some reason I really want to start collecting money. Money and keys. But then uh, I've killed so many zombies already that it's kind of pointless to collect all the money. There's a bunch of money laying around, I'm sure. And if, uh, vendors come... I don't think the vendors would even want money. Like, what's the point of it anymore? There is no point. There's no government printing new bills. What the fuck? Pack of chewing gum? I'll take that too. Flashlight and some chewing gum. We could make some more lamps. That would be a, a constructive use of my time. But I need to find some batteries. That's one of the things that I'm putting on the list. We need to find twine. We need to find batteries. We need to kill zombies. We've always needed to kill zombies. But I didn't know what twine or uh, batteries or wires were for when I started playing this game. I've really learned a lot in this playthrough. I hope that you have as well. I mean, if you watched my first Project Zomboid videos, that shit is uh, probably frustrating. <laughs> Because there's like, yeah, not not a whole lot of moving forward. I'll take some more flashlights. I don't know why I like these big flashlights. They are so heavy, but um, I'll probably find a use for them at some point. Okay, I did get the twine. I hear somebody knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door. Come on in. There you go. How you doing? Good? That's great. Now you're dead. Okay, close. Close window. Everybody in the club wants a close window. Everybody have a butthole close window. I'll take some more uh, non-perishable goods. Because why not? And I eat these chimps. Mmm. It's a good thing uh, there's nobody with me. Or else I'd have to share my gummy bears. But they're bouncing here and there and everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean into my stomach. Yes. I'll take some spoons. That'll be good. Take a spatula. This will be fine for the tea party. A little thermos. We need all these things, don't we? <laughs> I don't know why. I've just taken to collecting junk now. Bleach? No, that's not good for the tea party. Oh, there's a blender. There's a chef hat. I could... I could become, uh, Chef... Chef Excellence? I think that's what it's called. I think Ashens invented that. And, uh, I'm nowhere near as big as Ashens. I don't compare myself to, to the greatness that is Ashens. But, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. That's what I'm trying to say. There's those fucking dogs again. I swear to God. 
I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Alright, let's eat some more. Get myself uh, well fed so I can run all this stuff up right quick to the, the good place. The tea party. Let us all go to the tea party. Change places! And then I move all the stuffed animals around. That's, that seems like something that I would do. I'd be like, I'm bored. Let's pretend we're the Mad Hatter. I am the Mad Hatter. I'm wearing my Chef Excellence hat. Can't, can't you see? Wow. It seems uh, zombies have sort of repopulated since I've uh, been away. That's okay. We'll clear them out. We'll clear them out real good. Mm -hmm. Get some biscuits and mustard. Mm -hmm. Damn! You got brain, bitch. I was hoping we could go for two there. That's okay. Everything's okay here. Quarters and pennies? Ooh! Maybe I could melt those down into bullets. Wouldn't that be something? I would quite enjoy. Yes. Hmm. There is a lot of use for uh, some of the stuff if you get really creative. And I'm I'm wondering if uh, Indie Stone is going to put that into the game. They're like, oh, you want to make weapons with, uh, with your monies? <laughs> Here, you can use a dollar in a Molotov now. You don't have to go find a sock, even though socks are fucking extremely plentiful. You don't really have to worry about finding socks. But it would just be nice, you know? Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hey! Let's put this next to the other thing. So you can maybe serve some food. That is so nice. Let us drop a spoon. There you go. Look at that. Look at how that's coming together. Isn't that so great? I'll put the rest of the spoons over here. And uh, somebody want a thermos? You're in charge of the, the drinks, aren't you, Mr. Octopus? There you go. Here's a thermos. I'm going to move these seeds as well. You don't need all this. What the fuck for, right? Right? That's a, a lot of zucchini seeds. I guess I should probably try and plant them. I need to go find my trowel. And I need to uh, get out of the rain before I catch my death. But first, I'm going to collect all these seeds off the ground. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to, like, be here. I know it's awkward for y'all to have a conversation while I'm standing right here. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, I'll be out of your way soon enough. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm just sorry. And I'm missing out on the rain right now, which could help me to water my zucchini seeds, but that's okay. Everything's gonna be great. Is this battery dead? Yeah. I should probably move this to the trash pile. I, I like to make trash piles so I know what's laying around, you see? There's a dead battery. Guess what? Another dead battery. Did I turn this off? Yeah, I did. Okay, wonderful. Let's uh, put another battery in this one. Shall we? Shall we? Could we? Maybe? Guess not. Well, it's almost stopped raining. Climb up the sheet rope. Let's stash some stuff. Stash a little more stuff. Wow, we're so full. So full up on goods, I'm going to have to build some more shelves. My goodness. Strawberry seeds. Uh, floor. Floor, I think. Did that go on the floor? Or in the trash bag? I think it went in a trash bag. Yeah, we've got uh, quite some stuff going on here. I need these fishing net traps. Please, to be take them. Oh, and here's all the garbage bags. Okay, I'll take these as well. Just because it uh, kind of confuses the inventory a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't really need to make rain collectors anymore. I've got a shit ton of them. More than I use, that's for sure. Hmm. Where did I put my fishing net traps? There's probably not enough room anyways. So I'll just shove them here for now. That's gonna be fine. Uh, I had a trowel. <laughs> Where did I put that trowel? There it is. Excellent. That wasn't as hard as I imagined it to be. Should I plant something besides zucchini? Because if you mix your, uh, oh, toy shark. 
Dude, you're coming with me. You're gonna join the tea party. Join the tea party! Yeah! Senor Shark! Senor Shark! He's coming! He's gonna hang out at the tea party! Hmm, I guess he could go like right here maybe? I gotta move Mr. Segasaurus down just a little bit. I'm sorry. Here you go. Y you sit closer to Mr. Triceratops, okay? Oh, tainted water. You guys, don't drink that water. I'm telling you right now, it's tainted. You see the little poison symbol next to things? I probably shouldn't put a, a carnivore next to all these herbivores, but you know what? I think that Mr. Hippo can take care of himself. He's like one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet, isn't he? Isn't he? He's a badass. He doesn't give a fuck. And I'm really trying to get the spacing right. I want it to, to be just so. How about there? Hey, that's looking nice. Oh, I'm so proud of my aquatic animals on this side of the table. And then there's carnivores over here. Shark fits more into aquatic animals than, uh, whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. Let's dig up this, um, disgustingness. Yeah. Dig. Dig it up. It's too late. These zucchinis are dead, okay? They're fucking dead. Zucchini seeds. I guess we didn't get the rotten zucchini from the ground. That's good. It'll be like, uh, fertilizer. You know? Fertilizer's very important. What's most importantly is I got some fertilizers, okay? Let's plant this way first so I'm not walking over all the shit. That's a wonderful idea. There you go. A little more zucchini. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Don't walk on it. Don't walk on it or you'll kill it. I don't know if that's true. Let me get these twigs out of here. Hmm. How many zucchini seeds does it take to plant? We have 110. So we need six. Six of them. I'm gonna try really hard to get these uh, properly watered and make sure that they grow into foods. How many times do I have to tell you not to walk on that little Dayton? Huh? You don't even listen. You don't even care. I say some shit and you're like, ah, whatever. Whatever, big Dayton. You just control my entire life and world. Yeah, trust me, we made it this far, okay, friend? Alright, we good? We fucking square? Um, no, I wanna, I wanna plant over there. Can I plant right here? I guess I can't. Oh yeah, I can, okay. It's gonna be really hard to water that, though. <laughs> oh well. And then I should probably, like, um... Oh, I should have made this one more bigger. One more bigger? Well, whatever. What's done is done, I do suppose. Let's dig a little more. Can, can you dig over there? No? Alright. Whatever. I guess we're going to be walking on our zucchines. And at least that will uh, be able to tell me if that kills them or not. <laughs> I assume that it does. If you let zombies walk around in your garden, Especially if you let them bleed in your garden, your vegetables will die. So, um, let's, let's try not to let that happen. But if these inner zucchinis die, that means don't walk on your vegetables. If they do fine, then it doesn't mean shit when you walk on your vegetables. Okay, we're out of zucchini seeds now. I kind of want to plant the rest of them, but, uh, if I get distracted and run away again... It's not going to be good. Let's put some twigs in the pile. Put some zucchini seeds in the pile. Oh, the pile's full. How could the pile be full? Oh my god. You guys. We filled the pile. And I got a worm. Hmm. Where to put my old fishing pole? That might be nice. Actually, I need to read those books is what I need to do. And we are exerted, so, uh... God damn, that that tree grew right on my chair. That's that's so bad. God, how am I supposed to sit on it? Unless you're like, you know, 
into extreme anal Douglas fir style. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm not into it. I'm not going to do that. I wish I could chop it down, but I can't without destroying the chair, so... It be what it be. Let's read some Foraging for Beginners. Hello, friends. Welcome to Foraging for Beginners. If you're a beginner forager, you'll start by looking around at the ground. There are many seeds and berries and things that you can find on the ground. But if you find something that's like little and black and looks like a rat turd, don't pick it up because it's probably a rat turd. But rat turds usually aren't like out in the open, so if it is out in the open, maybe you should pick it up because it could be like a seed or something. Like a pine cone seed. You can eat pine nuts. Them shits are so delicious, you won't even believe it. You also will probably find like some sticks and stuff like that. You know, there's not so much use for the sticks or whatever, but you can use them if you want. You know, maybe start a fire with them or something like that. I don't know why my voice changed in the middle of this whole thing. It's supposed to be like, you know, an informative experience. Maybe it's a little bit more ex informative when I start talking like this, huh? If, if y'all like that kind of thing. We're almost done with the book now, so I hope that you really enjoy it. I hope that you learn some stuff, you know. Look at the ground is mostly what uh, foraging is about. You know, take some stuff from the ground and use it. Alright, I'll see you in the next chapter, bye. Hey, that was really great. I... <laughs> I enjoyed that. Super lots. Let's eat some of this MRE. It's late as shit now. I, I'm in danger of passing out, so uh, I'm gonna go to Betty by. I'm already at home, which is super nice. Probably should water the plants, but we'll do it at some point, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It is always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. And you know we're going for world domination. World domination! And it might even happen at some point. I remain hopeful. <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you in the next one. We'll uh, do some more funsies in the Project Zomboid. And I hope you join me for it. Until then, friends. Bye bye One... Two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.